Hey guys, so last week I did my makeup collection video, which you guys seem to really like, which makes sense because I really love makeup collection videos, like... <laughs> What I didn't show you was what I use every single day. So I didn't show you the part of my collection that I have out on my vanity that I kind of dip into every single day and it keeps me sort of using everything on a regular basis. So I'm gonna show you that today. Um, you've seen it before, like I've done a video where I like show you the things, products I'm switching out, but I've never actually shown you like what I put in there, how I organize it and stuff. So yeah, um, make sure you give this a thumbs up if you like collection videos, cause I really like collection videos. Let's get into it. So I haven't cleaned this or, well obviously, I haven't reorganized it to be attractive or anything. This is literally how it looks after, well and before, I use it every single day. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, you'll notice that like the, so this unit is comprised of two pieces. This is a unit from the container store. Um, it's called their cosmetic tray. If I can find a link, I'll leave it down below. And this is the Muji three drawer. So it's a little less tall, like each individual drawer is less tall than the um, double wide. Actually Todd has a, um, the double one, double wide, it's not a trailer, but it's like a double wide setup. But this has three drawers and they're, um, they're just tall enough for lipstick. I don't know if you can see that right here, but like they, like a Tom Ford lipstick is exactly the height of one of these drawers. So you can't um, really layer products, but that's kind of why I liked this because I find when I have products that are too deep, I forget what's underneath and I don't use them. So this is where I keep all the bulky makeup that just doesn't fit anywhere. Um, you'll notice it's half skincare, so we can start there just because that's my favorite thing. This is the Bioderma Pore Refiner. I love this. This makes you, your skin so matte and just on days that I know I'm going to feel really oily or if I know that it's just a humid day outside, I'll use this. But the primer I use most days and almost finished this one, I'm like so close, is the Clarins, um, Beauty Flash Bomb. So I've been trying to finish this one. It's super hydrating and just beautiful. It smooths everything out. I usually have a spray water in here just to set my makeup or to take down any powderiness. Um, also just to rehydrate my beauty blender if I really need to. This is my day-to-day -day moisturizer. I keep this in here just because I it's usually the last step in my skincare before I start putting makeup on. I keep a hand cream in this tray. This is the Ecotally Hand and Nail Cream. It's really good. It absorbs really quickly and that just kind of reminds me to put hand cream on whenever I'm here. This is a... I also keep a body oil here, but I'm thinking that this isn't the best place for it because this is after the shower. I might just move this to my bathroom. Right. So these are the powder products that I currently have going in my um, vanity tray. I switch these out every month or so just to make sure that everything's getting equal love. The only thing I really don't switch out um, uh, is the Kevin Kwan sculpting powder because that's the only sculpting powder I have. Sometimes I'll use the Rodial um, eye sculpt that I have because that's a really nice cream contour, but just for the winter I like something a little bit lighter, so I use the powder. Um, I'm trying so hard to finish up this bronzer. You can tell, you can see the pan underneath. I'm so close. Oh my goodness. I feel like, I feel like it'll shatter any day now. I'm just like trying to use it up. Um, I usually work with two powders. On days that I need like to really heavy set and ensure that nothing moves, I use this one on a wet beauty blender. Um, that's not that often, so I probably shouldn't keep that all that often, but I do like this powder even just for a regular day-to-day -day setting. It's just this is the one I go to when it's like things need to stay. And this uh, Makeup Forever powder is really nice. It's really light. I like it because it doesn't feel like you're adding another layer to your makeup, so stop. So that's awesome. Um, my highlighter is the thing I switch out most often because I have like five, I think, and I love them all. This is Dior Amber Diamond. It's amazing. Um, I usually just run my brush across the entire thing, but sometimes I'll just take one of the little strips and put them on my eyes. And this is Cargo's Mendocino Blush. Love this. This is the most like flattering cheek color. It looks really bright and scary, but with a really light hand, it's just, it could turn into anything and that's how, that's how versatile it is. The sole eye product in that entire tray is this Illusion Dome from Chanel. I love this. It's been horribly mistreated, but it's just the most beautiful, like, gray with multicolored shimmer. And I, I use this every day as, like, a base for the rest of my makeup, and it's beautiful. I think my favorite thing about this is the texture. It's so cushy. So that kind of leaves us with the um, three almost like pencil cup holders in the back. Um, this is just where I keep all the brushes I'm using right now. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. I just, just the ones that I feel I need at the time. I try and keep like one fluffy brush in there, a couple of face brushes and some detail brushes, but I've been using my fingers a lot. So it's not that many in the middle here. I keep tools. So I have like my tweezers, my eyelash curler should be in there. Um, but like, these are my, um, nail clippers and I always, always, always have a lens cloth because my glasses get so dirty. And here are all of like the stick products. So I have like my brow pencil, my concealer, um, liquid liner, there's a couple of con uh, concealers in the back, mascara, um, just anything that's like sort of long and skinny that's a product goes in there. First drawer, I keep a Z palette. I don't always keep it in there, but I'm trying to finish a bunch of things in there. So that's why it's just in there to keep everything in one place. Otherwise I would just have a bunch of eye palettes and a lot of actually these flat items would go in here. I'm trying to finish up this bronzer. This is uh, Benefit Hoola and I love Benefit Dallas as a blush. So I, I keep that in here just for days that I don't want to look like I have a lot of makeup on and just a couple of eyeshadow pans in the side here. I have a couple of um, cream shadows that I just, if I feel like using a cream shadow, I'll use those. Um, they're from the Laura Mercier holiday set. That was amazing. This was a random foundation sample that I found. Um, it's Bobbi Brown, even though my camera won't focus right now. And yeah, I figured I'd try it because it looks like it's the right color for me. So we'll do that. I went through this drawer in my makeup collection video, but I just, I keep all of my lip products. These are all of my lip products in here. So, because that's just something I wear that's different every single day versus I don't necessarily need to wear a new powder every day, but I do wear a different lip color every day if I do wear a lip color. Um, yeah, this is, all of the lip stuff. I obviously have a bit of an obsession with these, but they're just so easy to use. This bottom drawer is all like stationary because I, I actually sit here and do work. So um, I have a notebook in there just for storyboarding and a bunch of pens and pencils. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I really enjoy filming these videos. So let me know if you um, have any questions about the storage. If you have any video requests, feel free to leave them below. You should get excited for next week's video though, because that I'm editing it right now and it is a project and a half. So I will see you guys next week for something that I hope will be really cool. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you next time. Bye. I don't actually know if people still watch these, but I'm in the middle of editing my makeup collection video. And it's my fully decluttered, well, not fully decluttered. We'll say like 90% decluttered.